now go through it all. You've defended your people. Father, go through it all. You protected your people. Out of all of pain. Uwadi nyangu bonjoro. Ano pay uwadi nyangu pawan kumwa. Ano pay uwadi nyangu pawan numu. Na wamani uusu ano elkoswa eguso. It doesn't matter who you bring in life. It doesn't matter your current condition. It doesn't matter your current situation. The Lord God should intervene on your behalf. The Lord God should come through. Beloved, I just want to share something little with you. I just want to share something little with you. John chapter 16, verse number 33. John chapter 16, verse number 33. I have told you these things. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Let me take it one more time. John chapter 16, verse number 33. I have told you. My come, my child. My So that in me, you may have peace in this world. You will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Let me take the key. Thank you, Jesus. To trust in God. I have learned to trust in this, this my Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, <laughs> 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 be of good cheer. Take heart. Be of good cheer. Take heart. For I, the Lord, I have overcome the world. Through it all. Through it all. Our God, our Father, He has indeed overcome them all. Through it all. Then I, I just ask myself, what kind of Christian are you? Christian, 
When the man Isaiah became aware of the capability of our God, our Father, he cried unto our God, our Maker, that arise, O arm of God. Isaiah 51, verse number 9. Let me read from the King James Version. 
from that new Kijan's version. Isaiah 51 verse number 9. Awake, awake. Put on the thread. O arm of the Lord. Awake as in the ancient days. In the generations of old. Are you not the arm that cut rehab apart? And wounded the serpent? That is the very statement of Isaiah. That is the very statement of the Israelites before they are called their father. Awake, awake, put on strength and might, O oh, arm of the Lord. Awake as in the ancient days, as in the days of long ago. Was it not you? Was it not you who cut Rehab, who cut Egypt in pieces, who pierced the dragon, who pierced the serpent Egypt? Was it not you? The Israelites were not in doubt. They spoke to their God, their father. And what did the end of the world? And what the end of the world? And what the Put on strength of God. Put on might of God. O arm of the Lord. Awake us in the ancient days. Are you in doubt this morning? Forever open your mouth and cry unto your God, your Father. The Father God, awake. Awake us in the ancient days. You want to sorry? Send your sorry what it is, brother. Forever yearn after your God, your Father. You only begin to doubt. When you focus on your very own ability. But if you begin to focus on the ability of your God, your Father, that He has deposited inside you, you shall begin to see His very favor. You shall begin to see how well your God, your Father, shall carry you through the storm. Awake, awake, put on strength and might. You are of the Lord. Oh, I am of the Lord. Awake us in the ancient days. That is what your God, your Father, is laying upon your heart right now. As I said to the men and the women of old. As I came through for them on the land, as I parted away the sea, as I led the Israelites from the hands of this man Pharaoh, from the Red Sea, through the land of the Hittites, the land of the Canaanites, the land of the Amalekites, the land of the Jebusites, I, the Lord, I will surely carry you through. You only need to discard any doubt from your system. In the spirit of unbeliever, whatever that is making you to doubt me, then discard it. Say yes, the Lord of hosts. Say yes, your God, your Father. Just take heart. Just take hold of courage. Then grab hold of courage, for I, the Lord, I am forever with you. The man David knew this. The man David was aware of the capabilities of his God's father. 
and there were so many prophets on the land of the Israelites. There were so many sorcerers on the land of the Israelites. But at the moment that the man did it, he faces anything that he does not even understand. He straight away goes before his God is Father. He goes before his God is Father. And he cried out to him. As your God, your Father has overcome every obstacle and every hindrance. He said to you, whoever is under the sound of my voice, clear any doubt from your system. I, the Lord, I overcame every obstacle. I overcame every hindrance. So that you'll be able to face this life with boldness and confidence, with courage. It is forever yours for the taking. It is forever yours. It is forever yours. Because I, the Lord, I have already told you, I have overcome the world. Because you belong to the Lord. And the Lord God also belongs to you. As your God, your Father has indeed overcome the world and never been urged. That is what you also possess. That is what you also possess within your very life. That is what the Lord God has blessed you with within your very life. So remove every doubt from your whole being. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse number 27. Let me read this very verse quickly, then we call it today. Deuteronomy 33, verse number 27. The eternal God is thy refuge. So why are you in doubt? Deuteronomy 33, verse number 27. The eternal God, the Lord your Father, is your refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. The eternal God is your refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. Deuteronomy 33, verse number 27. The eternal God is thy refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee. And shall say, Destroy him. So why are you in doubt? Why are you forever doubting your God, your mother? Don't you know what your God is capable of doing? Why are you forever in doubt? That eternal God is thy refuge. Deuteronomy 33, verse 27. And underneath our death, everlasting arms. And the pay as Dunkel Radina Gumonide. The arms of the living God is everlasting. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee. And shall say, Destroy them. And he shall trust out the enemy from before thee and shall say, Destroy them, destroy them. This is your capability. 
That is the nature of your God, your God. So why that won't take your point now, good boy? Why are you in doubt? Isaiah 63, verse number 12. Isaiah 63, verse number 12. That led them by the right hand of Moses. With his glorious arm. Dividing the water before them to make himself an everlasting name. The mighty hand of the living God. Remember the Bible categorically tells us that the pillar of clouds and the pillar of fire these were forever with the Israelites. No wonder they were forever victorious. No wonder at the moment that the enemy see them, they begin to tremble. Because of the pillar of fire and the pillar of clouds. That were forever behind and in front of these people. Grab hold of knowledge. Take heart. Take heart. For your God, your Father, is not dead but alive. Remember that He has taken a solemn vow in your life that He would never leave you, He would never forsake you. He divided the water before them to make Himself an everlasting name. No wonder that the Bible says in Ezra 33, verse number 18. The Bible says, and the Lord God, he proclaimed his name, the Lord I heard of Moses. The Lord God was forever I heard of this man, Moses. And the name of Yahweh, the name of the Lord, was forever declared before Moses. Moses Hey. It is because of the presence of the living God that was forever ahead of this man Moses. Not the one in the The reason why the Israelites asked their God their father, they plead that their God their father, the Father God awake, awake, put on strength and might, O arm of the Lord, awake us in the ancient days, as in the generations of long ago, awake. Never doubt the capability of your God, your Father. Never doubt your God, your Father. He's all that we are. He's all that we possess. Hey. Let me read it quickly. Isaiah 51, verse number 22 to 23. That is what your Lord says. The Lord, even your God, who defends his people. So why are you in doubt? Isaiah 51, verse 22 23. Let me read from the Amplified Bible. Isaiah 51, verse 22 23. Says your Lord, the Lord who is also your Lord. 
who pleads the cause of his people. Listen carefully. I am taking from your hand the cup of staggering and intoxication, the cup of my wrath. You shall never drink it again. So why I used to doubt in your glory, Father? It was did not go on the book for Sana when the shell was seven cents of long. Was it a free now called Mau Numbia? Why, Jeff? That is what the Lord says. The Lord, even you are God who defends his people. Look, I have removed from your heart the cup that causes tattery. That goblets, the cup of my fury, you would never drink it again. It was dinner, and you pass in the booth for a son. If we now go home, I will not be here. The son send the name when I'm at the house. The son send the one day at the house. Verse number 23. And I'll put into the hands of your tormentors. Who said to you, lie down so we can walk over you? And the Abu Fonsana Wadina Kupo Wadia Fru in Sabro, one fancy Hoko, what the Amawa Tefono, what the Amawa Tafono, those who have been tormenting daily, those who have been mentioning your names before their evil authors. I, the Lord, I am putting into the hands of your tormentors. Who said to you, lie down, so we can walk over you? You made your back like the ground, like a street for those who walk on. <laughs> so, beloved, from today, you must know how your God, your Father, has made you. Just take heart. If there is anything that you are battling with, take heart and go before your God, your Father. Never be in doubt. Never be in doubt. Never forsake your God, your Father, and be moving around. Expecting prophecy, expecting some words that do not even edify you, expecting some speeches that do not even draw you closer to your God, your Father. Finally, Isaiah 51, verse number 12 to 15. Let me read it quickly, then we call it a day. Isaiah 51, verse 12 to verse 15. Isaiah 51, verse number 12 to 15. I am the one who comforts you. Who are you? That you should fear humans who die. I am the one who comforts you. Who are you that you should fear humans who die? Many a rat the abetcher rare. Now when the wine says, "Who be strong in the power?" Oh, when the wine says, "Who be strong in the power?" Oh, oh, remember that your God, your Father, He never dies. He's forever the same. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same tomorrow. He's the same now and forevermore. So who are you? That you should fear humans who die. Or a son of man who is given up like grass. So because you know your God, your Father, 
na na nam se osumbu ma asafo urade de no when somebody tells you i will kill you just laugh it off when somebody says i will make sure you don't see the next day just laugh it off when somebody says you will never see next year just laugh it off Why that you should fear him as who die? Or a son of man who is given up like grass? Who are you? Verse number 13. Ahe yami ba. Odofo ahe yami ba. Seriously. Isaiah 51 verse number 13. But you have forgotten the Lord. Who stretched out the heavens? He laid the foundations of the earth. You have forgotten your God, your Father. You have forgotten the Lord, your Maker. Who stretched out the heavens? He laid the foundations of the earth. Jesus, Ah, himself to destroy you. But where is the fury? Where is the anger of the oppressor? Where is the anger? Where is the fury of that oppressor? Verse number 14. The prisoner is soon to be set free. The prisoner has been set free by his God, his Father. So it could be that you were in captivity. It could be said that you were in captivity. But that is what your God, your Father, is saying to this very hour. That my son, my daughter, just take heart. Grab hold of courage. The prisoner is soon to be set free. And he will not die. And go to the pit. Isaiah 51 verse number 14. This is what my God, my Father, is releasing into your spirit right now. Whoever is under the sound of my voice. Wow, be a casual, say you will never live to see tomorrow. Whoever somebody has taken your picture, whoever that somebody is having evil conspiracy against your life, that is why your God, your Father, your Maker, your Creator is saying to you right now. Isaiah 51, verse number 14. The prisoner is soon to be set free. Oh. And he will not die. And oh. go to the pit. Oh. And his food will not be lacking. Oh. Verse number 15. For I am the Lord your God. Who stirs up the sea. So that it will through. His name is the Lord of armies. My God. Oh. My God. My God. Jesus. Let me read from the Amplified Bible that we call today. Isaiah 51, verse 14. All the way to number 16. Let me read quickly. The exile will soon be set free and will not die in the dungeon 
nor will his food be lacking. Verse 15. For I am the Lord your God, who stands up the sea, so that it waves roar, its waves make noise. The Lord of hosts is his name. I have put my words in your mouth. Beloved, take it from the Lord God today. I have put my words in your mouth. And I have covered you with the shadow of my hand. To establish the heavens. And lay the foundations of the earth. And succeed to Zion to Jerusalem. You are my people. Oh. Begin to allow the word of the living God right now soak into your body. Oh. Isaiah 51 verse 16. Oh. I have put my words in your mouth. And I have covered you with the shadow of my hand. Father God, I thank you for covering me with the shadow of your hand. Father God, we thank you for putting thy ways in our mouths, of God. Father, we bless you for covering your people with the shadow of your hand to establish the heavens and to lay the foundations of the earth and to say to Zion, and to say to our country, and to say to our motherland, you are my people. Maybe you are all on your people again. Father, take all the glory. Father, take all the glory. We thank you, Father God, for making your people so. We thank you, dear Lord Jesus, for touching the mouths of your people. For remembering the covenant of God that you had with our forefathers. Father, we bless you for removing any doubt from our system and putting your very nature in us. Father, we thank you for removing the cup of your wrath from the hands of your people. And rather giving the cup of your wrath to our tormentors. Father, we bless you. Take all the glory. Forever renew thyself in us. Forever visit your people. Forever locate your people. Whatever that is hidden, O God. Father, unveil them unto your people. Energize your people, God. Use your people for your glory. Use your people for your glory. Use your people for your praise, God. Use your people, Father, for your favor. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, the Spirit of the Living God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved, remember Galatians chapter 6, verse number 17. Let no man trouble you. Let no man trouble you. Because you bear on your own the marks of Christ Jesus. In a negative statement. Clear them off. In an ill spoken word. Clear them off. Because your God, your Father, has taken a bow. That you will never die. No ill spoken word. Have the upper hand over your life. Obi Bia wato ekuya bebi diyesi wa edia wa presentio. 
Anytime, Anytime the Lord God reveals such things, things to you, you. just laugh it over. Because the person shall see the outcome soon. Believe in your God. Believe in your Christ. Believe in the one who has called you. Forever take time to sit with Jesus. Forever take time for your Lord Jesus to examine your heart. In order to remove any doubt from you. And fight your battle for you. Amen. Amen. Matisse will be a time for said that's why you should be doing not attacking people. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. <laughs> I don't speak out of my mind. I don't speak Kwame, I don't speak out of my mind. After the midnight prayer, I don't rehearse any way that a logo shall look at me with it. It is what I come up with. It is also for now, me attack me and young woman in one day. You know, Father, you saw me at the hour, Jenica. Is this Christian? Hey, don't go there, don't go there, don't go there. You say, Sorry, that I'm attacking them. I'm not attacking their personality. I attack the message that they do carry across. There is no way in the Bible. Where the Lord God located somebody and said, Give me money for me to bless you. You know it. We are away. So I wonder why you guys keep on defending this Azantanes on social media. I don't speak out of my mind. The widow of Zarephath, you know that lady, you know that woman. The Bible says that what the amount of default Adrian did, you know, Adrian and Panifieda, into a sofa now, Kajro said, What did you go on this year? Except for a thousand Ghana cities, a brother, and the other year now go be a trunk. Now, a trunk, let's go in my own. And the other year now go check it. O bank account, let's go in my own. My son, my son. Now, you know, so we keep on defending this Azantanes on social media. There is no way in the Bible. And you know it, Kami, you know it. Wouldn't him say any training? Kwame, I would type was that is why you should be doing and not attacking people. My Jesus attacked the Pharisees. My Jesus attacked the Sadducees. He attacked the teachers on the land. It many attacks. Let's listen to the voice of the living God. Rather than to listen to the voice of man. May he forever be with us. May he forever locate us. May he forever be a shield that run his people. May he forever put a divine restraining order against our enemies. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved, to my of when it's exactly 4 a.m. Ghana, West Africa time. We shall meet on Zoom. And we're going to pray like never before. You have to be a man of prayer. You have to be a woman of prayer. The man David made a statement. In return for my friendship, they accuse me. But I am a man of prayer. Be a man of prayer. Be a woman of prayer. And the glory of the living God shall forever be seen in your life. What is mama.
Trust in Jesus, I plan to trust. 